This is J-Dog here. I'm here with the, another video because I have some kind of issue going on. Um, the other, I think a couple days or so ago, I did this video called We Demand Justice for Jasmine Barnes. All right. This is one of the two videos I talked about Jasmine Barnes. Um, that in a live stream, I've been talking about the situation with Jasmine Barnes. But the real reason why I'm going to decide to do this video, well, first of all, I got an upcoming live stream. But second of all, this. This comment from this seven Gantz. Now, as you know, uh, it says here, uh, he's act, this person is actually responding to this individual, Kemet God, for a comment. Um, but yet, this seventh Gant, now, Kemet God's comment says, they attacking our women and children more frequently, black men stay in code. Because earlier we thought that um, the there was a when the s older sister and mother was sh showing the uh, description of the individuals, they said there was a white man in a pickup truck. They found the, tr and I found out that they have still not found the guy of interest. He, uh, the white man, is c still considered a man, uh, a person of interest. So. Whether he is the suspect or not, he is still a person of interest. Meaning he could still be considered a suspect. The reason why I say this is because you had this guy here, Seventh Gantz, decided to make this very insulting comment as a, uh, responding to Kemet God. It says here, Kemet God turns out the mother is a lying black. Not even gonna say there was no white man, only two black thugs. And from right there, I'm looking at the possibility that this guy is most likely a troll. First of all, like I just mentioned earlier, they put out there was a white male. So obviously, and the law officers are not saying that the women are lying. Notice that. The only reason why they picked out the black suspects because the black suspects, quote, so-called confess. However, the fact that the mother and the family of Jasmine Barn are still saying, are still hoping that they found the white guy, indicate that the white guy is still a person of interest. And notice that the off police officers are slowly trying to find this person. There's a lot of red flags. I even heard this from Tariq Nashi because, and basically a lot of people, that there has been incidents where black people have been forced to confess and then it turns out they never did it. It was just so they can make a deal plea to make their jail sentence even less. And then it turns out some white guy, some white thug actually did it. Oh, that's my phone, by the way. Ugh. I'm making a video here, and yet I get this phone call that of this per individual I don't even know of. And I'm about to end the call. Alright, sorry about that. I believe this guy is trolling, so let's go to his, uh, well, um, let's go to his channel real quick. First of all, he has no subscribers. Now, it looks like there's content, but it's content from other people. 
It's not he doesn't make his own contact. He just happens to follow different people. Among them, yeah, he's just some guy who's just randomly following different people. But I still see yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Oh, sorry, I just accidentally. Um, go back here. And the fact that he's insulting the mother when the mother is just went through this terrible tragedy and of the loss of one of her daughters is very insulting. I mean, this is probably a white troll who happens to follow black people just to throw people off. Because look at how he said his thing. Lying black. So this is either a coonish, a sambo black person, or a white person acting racist taunts without even saying the N-word. Look what he says. Two black thugs. Look at this, this tempo, this temperament of how he's even saying this. This indicate this is a racist white person. This is why I hate trolls. You're going to attack a victim of a violent, heinous attack. And like I said earlier, even if the black suspects have been arrested, that doesn't mean the white person was not responsible. What if they are being critiqued into confessing because they don't want the white person to get in trouble because there's some, some kind of they saw the this victim saw a white person and they're on code and want to make it look like a black on black crime situation have you ever thought of that like i said there has been incidents where black people confess even if they didn't do it and then it turns out it they never did it and it was a white person the whole time I cannot stand these trolls coming in my chat room. And then they just go have the nerve to attack that innocent that 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 family and the mother who just going through the loss of her daughter. So you know what, Mr. Seven Gants? Don't ever comment on my comment section again. Matter of fact, Hold on. First, you're being blocked. If you ever cause any trouble, you're going to be reported. Now, second of all, this comment, goodbye. Yeah, don't ever come back here. Yeah, you want to assault that innocent woman who just lost a child. So don't ever come back in my comment section again. And that goes for any trolls out there. Don't ever come back in my comment section again acting like that. And once again, my condolences to the family of, of that mother and Jasmine Barnes. But that's all I got to say. Thank you for everyone that's listening and who is loyal to this channel. And that's all I have to say. Peace, everyone.